Thanks, Sundar. Today, we want to give you an early preview of how we're bringing the Google Assistant to the home. Our aspiration is to make the Assistant useful and enjoyable in one of the most important places in your world, where you spend time with your family. When I walk into my house, I want to be able to continue to have access to the Google Assistant, but I should be able to interact with it in a hands-free way, simply using my voice without having to take out my phone. This is why we're creating Google Home, a device which will be available later this year. Google Home lets you enjoy music and entertainment throughout your entire house, manage everyday tasks more easily, and ask Google what you want to know. All of this will be done by speaking with the assistant. It will let anyone in the family, kids or adults, have a conversation with Google. Google Home is unmatched in far field voice recognition since it's powered by more than 10 years of innovation in natural language processing. I can continue the two-way dialogue with the assistant that Sundar mentioned earlier, whether I'm standing nearby cooking dinner or sitting across the room playing a game with my daughter. With Google Home, we set out to create and design a beautiful product that's warm and inviting and fits naturally in many areas of the home. We're designing the top to blend into your home. We'll give you the option to customize the base with different colors and finishes, including metal and fabric, to reflect your home style, whether it be in the living room, the kitchen, or the bedroom. We're putting a lot of craftsmanship into the hardware design, including the LEDs placement and choreography, the speaker that's going to fill the room you're in with music, the microphone system, and the clean face without any buttons. This is Google Home. We think it'll be a beautiful addition to any room in your house. And we're even more excited about what it's going to do for you. First, music and entertainment are a big part of what makes being at home relaxing and fun. Not long ago, we introduced Chromecast, designed to play your favorite shows, movies, in YouTube videos on the biggest screen in your house. Last year, we added Chromecast Audio to bring the music you love to your best speakers. Chromecast has been one of the hottest selling consumer electronics products since the day it launched. And Google Home will build on those experiences. Google Home is a Wi-Fi speaker that streams music directly from the cloud so you get the highest quality playback. It will deliver rich bass and clear highs, all from a beautiful, compact form factor. Of course, you can access songs, playlists, albums, artists, and podcasts from your favorite music services just by asking with your voice. Or if you prefer, you can send music from your Android or iOS device uh, to, to, through Google Cast. And unlike other home assistants, Google Cast support allows you to control other speakers in your home without complicated setup. So when you want to listen to Coldplay on the living room speakers, you can simply say, play Viva La Vida in the living room, and it'll start playing. Cast support also enables multi-room playback so that you can add one or more Google Home devices to a group of speakers and really blast your favorite tunes. And it lets you control your video content too. Let's say that you want to watch that episode of Jimmy Kimmel or the trending YouTube video on your TV. Just tell Google Home and the content will appear on the biggest, brightest screen in your house. Next. Google Home will become more and more of a control center for your whole home. Home is where lots of daily tasks just need to get done. Having access to the Google Assistant makes this a lot easier. It's like having a voice-activated remote control to the real world whenever you need it. 
You can do the basics, like setting alarms and timers, or managing to-do lists and shopping lists. We're also designing Google Home to connect your smart home seamlessly. It will support the most popular home networking systems so that you can easily control your lights, thermostats, switches, and more, including our own Nest devices. Further in the future, we'll work with developers to make it possible to control things beyond the home, like booking a car, ordering dinner, or sending flowers to mom, and much, much more, all with just your voice. Third, Google Home lets you ask Google about anything you want to know. Of course, you can get the basics, like the weather or facts that you might find on Wikipedia. But what makes Google Home really shine is that it has search built in. It draws on 17 years of innovation in organizing the world's information to answer questions which are difficult for other assistants to handle. You might ask, how much fat is in an avocado? Or what is Draymond Green's jersey number? And then follow up that last question with, where did he go to college? Or try something more complex. What was the US population when NASA was established? You will get immediate, accurate answers from Google each time. And the Google Assistant not only knows a lot about the world, but it will stand apart in how it can also get to know you over time, with your permission, of course. It can help you retrieve your travel itinerary, your daily schedule, your traffic to work, your package delivery information, and much more. And as Google keeps getting better, so will Google Home. So that's Google Home, a beautiful, smart, voice-enabled assistant for the whole family. Enjoy music and entertainment throughout your entire house. Manage everyday tasks effortlessly and ask Google what you want to know. It's early days, but we want to show you how we envision uh, the Google Assistant coming to life at home. We created a short video to bring the product into a family setting to capture what it might be like in the future to have your personal Google around the house. Let's roll the video. OK, Google, play the morning playlist. OK, playing morning playlist. OK, Google, play music in all rooms. OK, Google, I'm listening. Your flight to Portland is delayed by 30 minutes. Change my dinner reservation tonight from 7.30 to 8. Your reservation at Andina is now confirmed for 8 p.m. Hey, Google, text Louise. Flight is delayed. Dinner moved to 8. OK, message sent. Morning. Morning. Hey, Google, turn the lights on in Kevin's room. I thought you finished that already. Um, I forgot. OK, Google, what's apples in Spanish? Manzanas. Hey, Google, has my package shipped? Yes, it's already shipped. It'll arrive tomorrow. Ooh, is that for me? Maybe. Interesting. OK, Google, how many stars are in our galaxy? Well, there are about 100 to 400 billion stars, according to space.com. Which star is the closest? According to NASA, the nearest star system is Alpha Centauri. Can you show me what it looks like on the TV? OK, Google, how's the traffic from Pebble Rock School to the airport? Your normal route has heavy traffic. There's a faster one that'll take about 35 minutes. I've sent it to your phone. OK. Let's go. Dad. Hey, Google. What's on the calendar today? The first event is Space Day at Kevin's school. It starts at 8 a.m. Space Day. Are you ready, buddy? Ready. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> OK, Google. Goodbye. Goodbye.
We're really, really excited about what's ahead. Google Home will be available later this year. In the meantime, to stay up to date with the latest news, please sign up at google.com slash home. We wanted to share this early preview at I.O. so that we can work with partners in a more open way to deliver awesome experiences at launch. We'll have a lot more to share soon with the developer community about how to begin to integrate with the Google Assistant. And, for, and with that, let me ask Sundar back on stage. <laughs>